Are you tired of doing open houses every single weekend and getting zero clients from it, zero people giving you their contact information, and actually zero people showing up? Well, if that sounds like you or a portion of it sounds like you, you're in the right video because I'll be sharing with you seven tips that our agents at the Agent First Group leverage to add over 11 transactions every single year just from open houses. All right, so the first thing that I want to advise you is to commit to doing open houses. This means be consistent with doing your open houses. Don't do an open house this weekend and then maybe in six weeks do another open house be consistent. In fact, this is one of the primary reasons that our agents are so successful with open houses because on average, every single weekend, they're doing two to four open houses. This becomes a pillar lead generation strategy for all of our agents because they know how to maximize every open house that they do. But if you're currently unsure if open houses are for you, give yourself three months of consecutive execution. You don't have to do open houses forever, but at least do open houses for the next three months. So every single weekend, do open houses for the next three months and commit to that. This will give you enough time and data to determine if open housing is right for you. The second tip has to do with house selection. It's so important if you're gonna execute an open house flawlessly. Now, one quick note here, whenever we're talking about house selection, I'm assuming that not every single weekend you're going to have a listing that's yours to do an open house in. Meaning that if you have a listing, well, chances are you're gonna go and do the open house at your listing. And for the most part, you're not gonna necessarily know or be able to choose if this is a house that you wanna do an open house in. Because again, it's your listing. When I'm emphasizing the importance of house selection, I'm assuming that you are taking it upon yourself to find a house to do an open house in. So in other words, it's your choice. So if you have free reign on the type of house, then keep in mind the traffic that goes in and around that neighborhood. The more cars that drive through that street or in and around that neighborhood, the more people that are gonna come to your open house. So rule of thumb is to avoid gated communities that make it challenging to get into the neighborhood because some gated communities are pretty locked down. Not all, but again, general rule of thumb is to avoid gated communities because you want as many people as possible coming through that open house. Also keep in mind the house's price point. Is it close to the average price in the area? Because again, you want to appeal to the most amount of people. Also consider the days on market. If you don't have a listing yourself and you have to ask for somebody's listing, then chances are they're not gonna be as likely to let you do an open house for their listing within the first two weeks. Because generally they're gonna go ahead and do their own open house or allow one of their team members to do the open house for them. But after that second week, going into that third weekend, fourth weekend, fifth weekend, they're a little bit more likely to say yes to you. So it just saves you a little bit of time of asking around. Now, before we get to tip number three, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jaime Resendez, and I help real estate professionals exponentially grow their business through actionable content. And I'm on a mission to help reduce the over 80% failure rate for real estate agents. So if you can hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell, that's gonna really help us out. Now, the third thing you absolutely must do is have plenty of open house signs. Seriously, there's no such thing as having too many open house signs. Take it from a top five agent in the entire country in and DC. He did a private training just for the agent first group and that was one of the biggest things that he emphasized. And even to this day, he continues doing open houses and that's how he generates the bulk of his business. But I understand that the budget might be a concern, especially since you're starting out. So at bare minimum, you want seven open house signs. Four are gonna go in highly trafficked roads, two are gonna go on the entrance to the street that you're on, and one is gonna go on the open house itself. Tip number four, you have to connect with everybody. Even if they don't sign in, you have to connect with them. What you're trying to do is build rapport, engage interest. Yes, we do want them to sign in. Please don't mishear me, but at the end of the day, it's that connection that's gonna allow you to work with them in the future. So focus more on them and build a connection from human to human. Now to incentivize the opt-in where you collect the name, the email, and the phone number, there are certain things that you can do. You can have a raffle or a drawing so people have a reason to give you their contact information. Or you could also create a simple two to three question survey that encourages them to give you feedback and at the end of it, they give you their contact information. And something that really helps our agents really stand out at the open house is offering a similar home sheet. 
which is a collection of properties around the area that are similar to the home that you're doing the open house in. What our agents do is offer that similar home sheet to every single person that comes to the open house, letting them know that there's similar homes in the area with their contact information down at the bottom. The fifth tip is marketing on social media. Make it public, make it known, and really broadcast that you're doing an open house and do that across all your social media. You can do live streams, you can record short form videos that you'll later publish on TikTok, you can record full length videos that you can put on YouTube while you're at the open house. There's a lot of different things that you can do with video. But my favorite thing to do when it comes to social media is running Facebook ads because our goal for all of our agents in the agent first group is to have leads before they even open that house to begin with. So our agents leverage our in-house digital marketing team that launches their paid ads for them. So we run our open house ad and it doesn't fail that by the time that Saturday comes around around or that Sunday comes around, our agents already have a client that they're working with long before they opened up that house. So if you would like for me to share with you exactly how we build out that ad along with the ad copy and how we follow up, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want me to make that video, just comment open house ad down below. Tip number six, follow up immediately. Having people sign in is just half of the battle. Oftentimes, real estate agents will take all of that information on a Saturday and maybe have another open house on a Sunday and then follow up that coming Monday. Don't do it that way. You're losing momentum because when you're following up on that Monday, guess what? Well, they're at work. They were spending their Saturdays and Sundays at open houses all day long. You should have followed up right then and there. So after you pick up your signs after that open house, get your phone out and shoot a personalized video to every single person that gave you their contact information. Remind them of who you are, the house that you met them in, and also let them know that you have another property that you forgot to include in that similar home sheet. By you offering to send them another home and also them agreeing to receive that home, it says a lot about their intentions. It lets you know that they're serious and it's also a great invitation for that conversation to keep going. So again, if you're not deploying the similar home sheet in your open house strategy, you're missing out. And tip number seven is so vital. You cannot do an open house without doing this part of the business, at least effectively. And that is tracking your results. There's so many of us agents that are just not tracking how our open house strategy is working or not working. You need to have this information. You need to know, are these hours that I'm spending on a weekend away from my family, away from my friends, away from everybody, these hours that I'm spending on the weekend working, are they actually producing results? So please make sure that you're tracking your numbers. Make sure that you know the amount of leads that you're getting per open house. Make sure that you're tracking where your leads are coming from and make sure that you're tracking what the conversion rate is because you don't want to find yourself months down the road with a ton of open houses under your belt with no clients to show for it. But I can guarantee you that if you deploy the seven tips that we talked about today, that's not going to happen to you. But now I'm curious. Let me know in the comment section down below when was the last time you did an open house. And if you want to see another video that's going to help you grow your real estate business exponentially, check out this video right here.